Welcome back, my fellow investigators, to Tokyo Dark. We are in a very precarious situation. We were escorted by some scary-looking dudes, and now we're face-to-face -to -face with this tatted-up chick. Let's see what happens. Do we take a whiskey on the rocks, or do we not? Um, I don't know. Our professionalism is paltry, so we could totally be unprofessional about this. I... I'm worried that if I refuse, it's not going to look good. It's going to make this more difficult. So, you know what? I think I will I will take the whiskey. So then we'll get her a glass and one for me as well. Why don't we skip the small talk and you tell me why I'm here? I'm getting to that. Seems you're a woman who doesn't like to waste time. Good. And as luck would have it, neither am I. Let's get right to it. A short while ago. A couple of men downstairs ran up to tell me you, a cop, had walked past my bar and into one of my nightclubs. Then I hear you've been sniffing around, asking about one of my investments. Investments? You mean Omega? Smart girl. Tell me, Ayami Ito, why is it that a cop is going around asking pointed questions like that? More curious still, not just any cop but a publicly shamed cop on leave. A shamed cop who's had a history of, how did they word it? Ah, uh, yes, a history of psychotic episodes. Shit, how the hell do they know that? Yeah, that, that was not broadcasted. I am pretty sure we were not broadcasted as a crazy person. We all have friends, Detective Ito. And when detectives are wandering around my part of the city, my friends tell me everything I want to know. Oh, I wonder if it was those cops. I wonder if it was those cops who ratted us out. Shit. Honestly, you don't seem all that crazy to me. As to why you're after Omega, well, let's just say you piqued my interest. Sorry, look at us. You said no small talk, and here we are off in the bushes somewhere. Let's get back on track, shall we? As you're not acting in any official capacity, it's safe to say that no one knows you're here, correct? No, I suppose they don't. <laughs> In your position, I might have tried to lie, but I appreciate the honesty. It was a rhetorical question anyway. I know for a fact there's no one coming for you. Funny, you don't strike me as the stupid type, and yet you've willingly entered a den of vipers. If you valued your neck staying on your shoulders, surely you wouldn't do something so reckless. You can skip the threats. If you wanted to do something to me, you'd have done it already. Plus, you're smart enough to know not to hunt a cop. Even one in my position. <laughs> Good. I like you. Given your prickly demeanor, I doubt you've been working with one of my competitors. And you're definitely not here for your police buddies. Okay, I give up. I have to know. What exactly is it you want to know about Omega? I'm looking for this girl. Her name is Reyna. I was told she was involved with the agency somehow. I want to know what happened to her. How very noble of you. Figuring that out might be a bit difficult, as I'm afraid Omega is an extremely recent acquisition. To get back further, you'll have to talk to its president and former owner, a man named Eiichi Higashi. As it so happens, that makes two of us who'd like to have a word with him. Like peas in a pod, us two. Unfortunately, when he handed over the business, he became a bit... How should I put it? Forgetful about his outstanding debts to us. And the poor thing is so scared of me that he's ignoring all my calls, probably thinking I'd do something awful to him if I found him. I can't imagine how he'd get that idea. Can you? Maybe he'd prefer talking to a police officer instead of talking to me. I'm not some green recruit. I know how this works by now. What's the catch? You'd never tell me where he was and send me on my way for nothing. Of course I wouldn't. You'll have to prove that you can be trusted first. There's someone else I need you to talk with. A bit of a softer target than Higashi. Pretty good deal, right? Everything you're looking for in exchange for one little job. Uh... Oh, no. Okay. Where... Where do we go with this? Do, on one hand, 
do we refuse keep our you know our morality our 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 loyalty to the to the police the side of justice do we keep that intact or do we just put that on the wayside just to make sure we get the information we need is there any other alternate route we could possibly take i don't know if we don't work for these people also i don't know about you guys but i get the feeling even if i say no it's not gonna matter one lick. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. This is this is walking on the dark side of the law. No, you know what? I'm gonna say no. Uh, this this might sound crazy, but I I don't know why, but I have a feeling everything's gonna work out, even if I say no. Just just call me call me crazy. Either that, or we're about to get murdered. Who knows? Oh, don't make this more difficult than it has to be. You'll agree eventually, so why fight it? I know a lot about you. Top of your class and one of the best detectives on the force. You wouldn't let something as pesky as morals get in the way of good information, would you? I've heard about you too, Kasumi Mifune. Or, more accurately, I heard a lot about your father. <laughs> as you should. My father was a good man. It's not surprising you know more about him than me. That'll change soon enough. I won't be a footnote in his story much longer. My father always undervalued the power of information, but I really get to know the people I associate with. You, for instance. Everything you've done paints the picture of someone who's very determined and very desperate to find this girl of yours. Don't let other people tell you otherwise, detective. I think those traits are a wonderful combination. However, it also means you don't have a whole lot of bargaining power right now. If you don't want to work with me, that's fine. You can go home and quietly overdose on whatever medication they've got you taking instead. Holy shit! You know a lot! God damn it, you're terrifying. Furthermore, I could just refuse your request altogether, but that'd be so boring. We both need something, so let's help each other instead. Do the job I ask. And I'll tell you what I know about little Higashi. As I was saying, like him, there's another business owner in Akihabara who is unfortunately behind on her payments as well. Such a shame, too. I really wanted a straightforward relationship with this one. See, I help out with a few things, and in exchange, she kicks back a little of her business. Sometimes we send over new contracts to renegotiate the terms of our mutually beneficial relationship. Sadly, she's neglected to sign the newest one. I'm a cop, not some Yakuza debt collector. Do it yourself. Ah, 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 ah. Suspended cop. You can't parade your badge around as proof that you're some white knight anymore. Due to the recent, uh, transition of power, I can't do it myself just this minute. The dogs at Tokyo Police Headquarters start panting whenever me or any of my men are seen outside Kabukicho. I'm not asking you to club someone's head in. I'm only asking you to give them a friendly reminder to keep up to date on their paperwork. Easy, right? Here, take it. Do this for me and I'll feel a lot more comfortable giving out information about Omega. Also, I'll remind you, with your impending review, it would be unseemly if it got out that you were meeting with Yakuza wouldn't it? Blackmail, huh? That's such an ugly word. And here I thought we were becoming friends. No, no. I'm just stating the facts of the situation is all. The business you're going to is a cat cafe in Akihabar. I had a feeling. As soon as she said her, I, I, I realized that she's the only owner of a business that's female that we've met. Wait, a cat cafe or... or what? A cat cafe. What else would it be? Well, a cat cafe or a cat made cafe? What? <laughs> Just a, What? Are we talking cat cats or people dressed like cats? Because a freaking cat cafe. Actual cats. Adorable, fluffy, precious cats. Why the hell would I invest in some stupid made cafe? Cats! Normal cats! <laughs> I think we ticked her off. Damn it, now I'm all worked up. Look, get that goddamn contract signed and we'll talk. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, we brought up a valid point. <laughs> Is it?
Wait, which is it? God damn it. Hmm. Well, that was her private bar. So, um, where the hell did we go? I thought we, I thought we had to leave. Enter the club. Look, talk? Oh, we can talk to these people now. You said yourself there's nothing to see, after all. Bit of advice for you if you're trying to keep someone from staying out of your business. I wouldn't leave with nothing to see here. See? She thinks so, too. Every time you say nothing to see here, people stop and stare at us instead of actually moving along. Nothing to see here. It really does kind of make me want to look more, you know? It's kind of a sinister nothing to see here. That's what cops say when there's definitely, without a doubt, something worth seeing. Thanks a lot for the advice, boys. Last I checked, it was you who worked for me, not the other way around. All right, all right, no need to be so damn touchy. All we're saying is that unless you want every passerby in Kabukicho stopping to stare at us, you can try zipping it. Zip it? Is that how you talk to all your employers? You are aware of who I work for, right? Right? Digging a hole is the least of your worries, so do as I say. <laughs> this job's the worst. What? Yeah, what is going on? We're pulling up a strip of concrete for no damn reason at all. It's scheduled maintenance requested by the building's owner. There were complaints of people falling or getting hurt because of the uneven pavement. So my employer generously offered her own money to fix it. Let me guess who your employer is. It seemed perfectly fine to me until we started hacking into it, and you seemed awfully impatient for us to fill it back in. You had wrapped in cloth before. <laughs> he buried something. <laughs> oh no. I get it. it was supposed to be some sort of threat. Yes, exactly. I mean, what you said wasn't exactly threatening. Honestly, I've heard better. Is he trying to imply that he's going to make us cover ourselves in concrete? Kind of a boring threat. Fine, bad joke. But maybe you two should remember you're being paid very generously to be here. So shut it. You, miss, would you please kindly move along? Would you kindly? Maybe I will. I'm busy enough with these two without any additional distractions. <laughs> Fine. I'm, I'm very curious as to what the hell's going on over there. But, you know, apparently, apparently can't find that out yet. Oh, I feel bad for the cat cafe. Uh, we gotta go and, we gotta go and do this. All right, well, there's the maid cafe. Hey, uh, what? Wait, hold on, what is this? Oh, uh, the dude's gone. I was about to say, I'm like, wait, was, was that an option for me before? No idea. Uh, hi, Sachiko. I think Tomo remembers you. Aw, oh, cute little kitty. You must be appreciative of all your help to make him feel better. Although, I've had to stop the deliveries of sashimi. Even the smell seems to set off his... bowels. Another quirk added to an already quirky character. <sighs> Maybe it's a sign that you were right about the fish. <laughs> yeah. Um, listen. We need to talk. Okay, sure. Uh, why the serious face? What's wrong? Uh... You owe the Yakuza? How exactly does the owner of a cat cafe get mixed up with Yakuza? Huh? What do you mean? I met someone recently who gave me a contract with your name on it to sign. I read it and it seems like you owe them quite a bit of money. Why? I've been around this kind of stuff for a long time and I can't figure out how a cat cafe owes that kind of money. Money? Yakuza? Wait, you're working for her? Why? I'm not working for anyone. All I've got is this contract in your name, and I want to know why. The truth is, this place isn't all above board. Or, it is, but it wasn't always. I didn't borrow money or anything that stupid. When I was setting up this place, I was just trying to stay above water. But the building owner kept coming by to complain, and then these government types and health inspectors came knocking. I never realized how complicated opening up a place like this in Tokyo could be. All those rules and regulations... Oh, let me guess, you you got startup capital, or something like that, under the table, and just got them to waive the regulations? 
Uh, jeez. I can see how that might get you in trouble with the Yakuza. All I ever wanted was to help out the kitties and make people happy. Then she came by. Someone who loved cats as much as I did. She offered to help me smooth things over with everyone. I mean, I saw the tattoos and everything, but I don't think you should judge people just because of how they look. I still don't. There was no way I was going to stay open and keep my kitties if I didn't get help fast. So I accepted her offer and things got better pretty quickly after that. The building owner stopped complaining, and all the permits fell into my lap. Maybe you think I was stupid, but most of the cats here would be stray or dead if I didn't get their help. For a while, I thought I was saved by a guardian angel. After all, she loved the cats and was kind and friendly to me. It's been quiet, too. The business with Tomo's... Bowels was the first incident I've had in months. About two months after accepting her help, when I was closing up the shop, some men showed up with a contract like the one you're holding. They said it was for services rendered, or something like that. It wasn't much at the time, so I signed it. I owed her a lot after all, and I was doing pretty well. Only, they kept coming back. And every time they came back, they had a new contract. Every contract wanted more and more money. It's gotten out of hand. I can't keep up anymore. Kasumi won't even see me anymore to talk about it. Hmm. You didn't really think you'd get a favor from the Yakuza for nothing, did you? I wasn't being greedy, Ito. I thought she was trying to help. <laughs> Helping the only way she knows how. Ah, uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, excuse me? What are you doing? Please, you have to help me. Oh, are you begging me right now? Are you putting on the goddamn cat face to, to, to plead me? God damn it. The amount of money they're at, they've asked for is out of hand. I'm doing well for now, but if they get cut their way, I'd be out of business. You have to tell Kasumi. Please, tell her that if this place closes down all these cats, there will be no place for them to go. The poor kitties. They'd be put down. I can't support them myself. I don't think animal services would let me keep them. I couldn't live with myself if that happened. I'm begging you, Ito. Don't do this. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, Jesus. No, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let this place close down. Ah, damn it. It doesn't matter what I need from her. I can't make you sign this in good conscience. Hooray! I knew good would prevail in the end. Thanks. How'd you get mixed up with that woman anyway? I need some information from her. You should be careful. I don't know about her, but her thugs are dangerous. Last time they were here, I heard them talking about having to teach a girl from another cafe a lesson or something. Makes me feel sick thinking about it. Another girl from a cafe, you say? Hmm. I'm wondering if that's a trail we can follow. Call me naive, but I don't get how someone could be so two-faced. When I started seeing her face in the papers lately, I couldn't believe it. Surely that ruthless woman they were talking about couldn't be the Kasumi I knew. Or so I thought. Guess it's like you said. A tiger can't change its stripes, right? Hmm, maybe so. At any rate, you should probably be more careful who you trust in the future. Sorry, I didn't mean to wrap you up in all this. But thank you for not making me sign. So what's your plan? <sighs> I'm not sure if I really have one. Maybe I can appeal to her kinder self. If she really is a cat lover, I'm sure she wouldn't want to see the little guys hurt, right? Oh no, I've really gone and let my got myself into trouble, haven't I? Maybe I should go instead. The contract was given to me, so I better deal with it myself. Plus, I get the impression that being con confined by the cops hasn't put her in a great mood. I'm sure you don't agree, but I still think there's something good in her. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if she's doing all these things if she didn't grow up into that life. And all the kitties loved her when they played with her. Cats are such good judges of character. <laughs> are they really? I, I don't know about that. I somehow don't think her treatment of animals correlates too much with her treatment of people. Ugh, I'm suddenly starting to feel a little queasy thinking about going back there without the contract. Damn it, Ayami, you've really gotten yourself into this one, to, this one into one this time, haven't you? No point dwelling on it now. I've made my mind, and hello, cat. <laughs> I'm in a tight spot. Take care. Don't worry. My kitties are never wrong in judging someone's character. Yeah, sure. I'll think of something, but I need you to lay low. I got an achievement. When one door closes. Sweet. Uh, maybe close up shop for a while. Yeah, maybe you should get out of here. Protect yourself. I don't know. Uh, I'm curious. 
Is there? Oh no, I can't go inside. Oh, well, fair enough. Never mind then. I thought maybe I could follow that trail for the the maid stuff, but nope. Yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, the cat came with me. What the? Honestly, little one, I don't want you to get hurt. Go home. He's Tomo following us. Oh no, he's following us. All right, well. Fair enough. I bet he wouldn't be if we didn't cure him of his laxative problem. That's kind of funny. Welcome back. I assume you took care of that little nuisance for me. I didn't have her sign it. I couldn't in good conscience ruin someone's life like that. Let me explain something to you. If I give you something to do, you don't come back until it's done. What? Do you think you're some sort of moral crusader? Helping up the little guy? What'd she tell you anyway? That she was a small town girl who couldn't keep up with the big meanies in Tokyo? Put it that way, I guess I do sound like I'm asking a bit much. Did she tell you about all of the cats that kept escaping? Or the ones who wandered into nearby businesses? How about the heaps of trash that were piling up around the place? If it weren't for me getting people off her back and cleaning up the place, those cats would probably be dead by now. What we have here, detective, is a trust issue. You were too quick to take the other side because of who I am, or at least who you think I am. Pity. Kazu! Yes, boss? Take Ito outside and show her what happens when people disappoint me. Don't be too rough. I don't want to repeat of last time. Oh, and leave her face alone. I'd hate to see, I'd hate for someone to see a black eye and think she might be worthy of sympathy. Keep her jacket here. I like it. It's very chic. Did you know my friends tell me when all the police raids are coming? It's pretty handy, really. As a matter of fact, there's one scheduled for tomorrow. I'll be gone, of course. But if they were to find this jacket, well, who knows what they'd think? Would be a pity if someone recognized it. Kazu, escort her out. Good luck finding that stupid little girl. <laughs> Rear! <laughs> Meow! Meow! Gary, no! Hold on, Kazu. Ito, who is this? He's, um... I guess he's a stowaway from the cat cafe. He is, huh? I see. I... I love him! Uh, excuse me? Oh! Well, okay then. Look at his squishy little face! I can't have a detective beaten around such a cute little face! What's his name? Beaten? Oh, um, I think his name is Tomo. Tomo? That's not much of a name for a man, is it? Hmm, I shall call you Mr. Marshmallow! What the hell, game? About that blackmail and beating. Oh, that? Forget it. <laughs> Cats solve everything. Really? Oh, good. Oh, Ito, lighten up. You're not a liability unless you start talking to your cop friends. And you wouldn't do that, would you? No. They likely wouldn't believe me at this point anyway. My thoughts exactly. So cheer up. How can you stay mad when looking at these big eyes and those little feet? I look at you and I see a woman whose priorities are all wrong, Ito. You don't appreciate what you have. Only what you're looking for. That is until you find it, but then what? What's left? Uh, cat, you're in the way. I can't read. That said, I was serious about one thing. If you talk to any cops or about any of my business or about my, um... Affections for cats or anything like that. Kazu might pay a visit to your apartment and pick up where he left off. But who wants to think about all the logistics of dis dismembering and disposing of a detective's body? Oh my god! Ah! What did I get myself into? Huh, Sachiko was right. You do genuinely love cats. So why make her sign a contract that would end with her having to put the cats down? Sachiko isn't as perfect and cute as she seems. She might love her cats, but she has strange ways of caring for them. She owes me a great debt, and it's my right to collect it. If her cafe shut down, I'd make sure those cats have a home, though I can't say the same for their owner. This job is about tough decisions. 
not legal ones like you cops make. In my business, you have to sleep with the choices you make, not leave them at the door when you hand the case over to the courts. <laughs> Mr. Marshmallow likes being picked up. Aw. He is pretty cute. I'm not sure if you meant for this outcome, but I have to say you have some guts coming back like you did. I thought you'd be another pushover cop to keep in my pocket. I underestimated you. And in doing so, I've given you information on one of my weaknesses. Hmm, <laughs> it's funny, really. I spend so much time making sure I'm not seen as the weak woman that all these men expect me to be, that I don't feel like myself sometimes. Something I'm sure you understand quite well. Tell you what, I'll let you have that one little weakness of mine. It's only fair. I know so many of yours, after all. In a different life, maybe we could have been friends. Kazu, stand down for now. Ito, consider yourself lucky. I'll let you keep your jacket tonight. Understood, boss. All right, forget the cafe contract. I'll get one of my boys to deal with it later. What is it you wanted again? I want to speak to Omega's company president, Higashi, about a girl signed to his agency. That's right. Our missing agency president in one of his many projects. What a despicable little man. I'll tell you now I had no problem taking control of the business from him. I left him as president to keep a few of his clients happy. A decision I regret now. Really? Where is he? Unfortunately, I'm just as in the dark about where he disappeared to, to you as you, I'm afraid. A deal's a deal, though. While you were out, I got an address to one of his old hideouts and the code to get in. The code, you say? I think I know where he is. Immediately, I think I know where he is. I can't guarantee you'll find anything there, but I said I'd tell you what I knew, and that's what I know. You haven't sent one of your stooges to check it out for you. Stooges. I like you, but don't push it. As I said earlier, me and my men can't afford to be spotted right now. Especially in an area getting so much special attention. Special attention? Doesn't Kabukichu get enough attention on its own? Kabukichu is what it is. But this isn't in Kabukicho. This particular spot got its reputation and subsequently its extra police patrols a bit more recently. In fact, I hear there's still an ongoing investigation going on there. I heard you'd be intimately familiar with that area and the incident that happened there. My condolences on the loss of your partner, Detective Tanaka, by the way. All the papers are rushing to make you out to be incompetent or worse yet, some sort of psychotic killer. Maddening, isn't it? My friends in police headquarters say you two were close. There's no way to lose someone you love. I suppose it's not too much to ask what really happened. Was there really someone there that night? Thanks on the condolences, but what happened on that night isn't something I want to discuss right now. Suit yourself. Let's change the subject back to Higashi. It took a bit of digging to find that address. Seems he was keeping a second hideout in Shinjuku under a fake name. Now that we know where it is, he probably knows too. I highly doubt he'd be stupid enough to stay holed up in it. But I also don't doubt he'd be smart enough to completely clear the place out before he left town, either. There's probably something in there that would lead us right to him. Get what you want, then let Kazu know where the slime is, so we can straighten him out. He'll get those fantasies of running away out of his head. The code to the door is 11235-5. It's the only key bad lock on the street. Yeah, I, I know. Thanks. You can't save them all? Well, I suppose so. Oh, Anito. Thanks for bringing Mr. Marshmallow to me. Being holed up in one place for the last few weeks can be a bit taxing. You know, I remember he loves fresh fish. Fresh fish, huh? Sachiko certainly does have an eccentric taste. Kazu, go pick up some sashimi. Right away, boss. Really, that's all he knows how to say. But we have information. Finally. Finally, we have information. Let's go to Shinjuku right away. What can we find in this place? I wonder. Uh, oh, we can go inside. Yo, Daizo. What's up? Anything? No, nothing. We can't go inside the... um. The Butterfly Club, for some reason. I knew this keypad would come in, would be important at some point. It worked. Looks like Kasumi's tip wasn't a lie. 
Hello? Ah, oh, what a stench. I know that smell. Oh no. Oh no. Anyone who's worked homicide long enough knows it. Oh boy! <laughs> Sanity's already dropping! When we come back with more Tokyo Dark, will my sanity hit rock bottom? Who knows? Find out next time. <laughs> Let's play Tokyo Dark. Oh, this is the Musical Gamer signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. This isn't a good sign. This is so, so not a good sign. See you guys later. Woohoo, boy.